Soli Deo Gloria. Yeah. yeah. Once again. Yeah. 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 It's the yeah. church, man. Yeah. Yeah. Called and collected. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of confusion yeah. about yeah. what makes yeah. up a healthy yeah. church. Yeah. 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 So we're going to look at the yeah. first mark. Because yeah. 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 without this one, yeah. Yeah. you're in bad shape. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. With our raps we adore our master and lord Jesus Christ who deserves all our claps and applause For the wrath that he bore at the cross For our blast from his thoughts and the classless acts of a whore He gave up his life with the passionate roar Was raised up to heights where he sat at before After this oar he gave pastors the call To ministry found in 2 Timothy chapter 4 Verse 1 and 2 What I first want to do is come to you the church To reverse a funny view So let me ask a question What's most essential? What is it that gives in local churches credentials some would say music some would say deacons yes. others say reaching the lost and soul seeking but if we want to give god the glory in our meetings the most important thing is expository preaching yeah. where are the whitfields yeah. where are the spurgeons yeah. preach the word yeah. preach the word yeah. we need sound theology yeah. to deal with reality yeah. preach the word yeah. preach the word yeah. we got enough yeah. rappers yeah. we need more yeah. pastors yeah. preach the word yeah. preach the word yeah. we need explanation yeah. and deep application this verse right here is for the congregation. This is what y'all need to be listening for. Yeah. Let me explain what I mean. It's not too complex. Uh -uh. It's preaching God's word in its proper context. context. As you listen, be discerning. What you have to determine. What's, What's the, the point, point of the passage? The point of the sermon? If not, this problem must be confronted today. Because he just used the Bible to say what he wanted to say. What? And even if it's delivered with fire and intelligence, that's basically making what God has inspired irrelevant. Instead of applying the word's realities, a lot of pastors rely on personality. personality. But give self-communication. Can never be a true replacement for the Holy Spirit's illumination Without exposition, you'll lack major profit All you'll get is tradition and your pastor's favorite topics And that can be a slippery slope The word should be giving you hope This dude is just giving you jokes That won't help you love Christ It won't help your obedience We need more expositors, not more comedians But shepherds who labor in the text Then faithfully connect you to the Savior Then wait for its effects God gives the increase Holiness, love, unity The word faithfully preached builds up the whole community if not, your Sunday meal will not last And you'll have to supplement it with the podcast no. Don't entertain us, that won't sustain us Preach the word, preach the word Careful instruction, not a big reduction Preach the word, preach the word We don't need theatrics and man-centered tactics Preach the word, preach the word We're on the brink of eternity, please speak earnestly Preach the word, preach the word This verse right here it's for the pastors. I just want to encourage y'all, man. Yeah. Y'all should be mindful of this devout thesis. All of the Bible is about Jesus. The Old Testament, Jesus Christ concealed. The New Testament, Jesus Christ revealed. This truth of the Lord Christ boldly conveyed this in Luke 24 on the road to Emmaus. The Lord of Prophets and the teachings of apostles. All of these point back to Jesus in the gospel. So if the work of Christ is what the word is about, ultimately that should be what the sermon's about. Forget applause, you got to let the cross rock ya. All roads in the Bible. Believe it, God got the Whatever the text, faithfulness demands yeah. That we should hear the echoes of nails hit in his hands Don't try to be original, say the old story And watch your people change as they behold glory The glory yeah. of Jesus, yeah. we yeah. need to see this yeah. Preach the word, Come on. preach Come the on. word yeah. Make Christ the center yeah. so new life can enter yeah. Preach the yeah. word, we gotta. preach the yeah. word yeah. Give us the whole yeah. counsel yeah. along with the gospel yeah. Preach the word, yeah. preach the word yeah. This is yeah. your duty, yeah. show us God's beauty yeah. Preach the word. We gotta preach we gotta. the word. Yeah. So that's it, man. That's the charge. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, Paul tells Timothy, he charges him to preach the word. And yo, there's a lot of good resources out there. You know what I'm saying? Spirit empowered preaching by my man Art Azertia. Christ centered preaching by Brian Chapel. The Supremacy of God in Preaching by John Piper. Get these resources, man. More than anything, dig into the Word of God. Meditate on it and give it to your people. Grace and peace. Yeah.